Welcome to the making of a DM. Do masterminds work? The truth about masterminds, no one is talking about. So with that said, let's get started. I'm more M, thank you so much for being here. To the making of a DM. Deal maker. Dream maker. Do more. <laughs> That's what it's about. Hey, so I'm sitting here in beautiful Parkland, Florida. Maybe you're brand new to the podcast show as we're starting to get a lot more new viewers and they come in and listen to the first show. But I'd recommend that you definitely start at episode number one talking about what the DM truly means so you can understand kind of the information I'm sharing with you today and beyond. As I'm sitting here talking to you, like I said, I'm in Parkland, Florida, overlooking the golf course. Beautiful sunny day. Just got done playing some tennis with the fam. Even Drea's out there, my two and a half year old, and my wife and my son. And they're now out in the pool while I'm up here in the office doing a podcast to you and for you. I appreciate every single one of you sharing the show leaving five-star reviews, posting on social media, and most importantly, just connecting. I have nothing here to sell you except the idea that what I'm going to share with you can help transform your life and live a better life financially and time. And again, if you have any, if you've never left, I should say, a five-star review over on iTunes or whatever platform you listen to, please do so. Why? Because it allows people that are sitting at home, maybe driving to work or struggling financially um, or just, just having to struggle in the business and they need to hear the truth. They need to hear real talk to help them understand they're not alone. We all have crazy shit going on. But I want to talk to you today about something very important, something that's truly changed my life, something that I really understood at a very early age. And holy shit, thank God I did. Because one day I'm going to share a show with you about compounding time. That's going to be a show that I believe will be shared millions and millions of times. I hope this show as well. I hope all my shows get shared millions of times. But these shows are so important to me. More importantly, they're so timely. I share real shit with you that's going on in my life. For example, I just got back hanging out with my buddy at the race over in St. Pete, Tampa. Hung out, took me and my son, went to the races, we're in the pit. We're talking. I got my cool logo on his car. I love to support my friends. I think that's the best thing in the world. I met him on social media about five, six years ago, just smoking cigars, taking pictures of each other and saying, what's up, man? Thinking about you. Hey, man, kick ass today. Hey, man, keep grinding. Hey, man, hope all's well thinking about you. Just did that for years, planting seeds. I don't need dick from him, and he doesn't need dick from me. We don't need anything from each other. It's a beautiful thing. But we connected like this. And then the first time we ever connected, we rolled up on the back of the yacht. I invited him down to hang out on the yacht for a week with us, with me and my fam. He brought his fam down and we hung out on the back of the yacht. And we connected to a whole nother level. The reason I'm sharing this with you is because this is how it starts now. There's nothing we can do about the past. If you're not making connections today, utilizing social media and all this stuff, you're missing out drastically. We got done with that. I got home at 3 o'clock in the afternoon yesterday and had to clean up, jumped in the car at 4 o'clock and headed down to another mastermind group where there's about 400 people there. And my buddies flew in from California. Um, I think What's his name? Jordan Belfort was there. My boy Chase. My boy Eric. A lot of people. A lot of people I know was there. So I wanted to go there and support it. I didn't feel like it. I didn't want to go. I had to go. Why? Because I made the deal with myself to show up and I showed up. We got there and hung out and met a lot of great people. You know, I didn't go there like, oh man, I'm going to make money today. But there's some relationships. My boy Stuma was there. I haven't seen him for a while. I got to connect with all these guys. Dan Fleischman, he's the one that held it. But making these connections, 
And then I got done with that. I got home at 1.30 in the, in the morning. Now, if you know me or don't know me, I go to bed at 9 o'clock. <laughs> I'm an early riser, 4 a.m.-ish. This morning, I did not get up at 4. Actually, that's a lie. I got up at 3.30 because my daughter was screaming and crying. So I got up, hung out in bed with her for a while. But I got up. I slept in today. And it felt good. But then I got up and I had to do family stuff, right? Get out with the fam, do stuff, play with them and be silly and have fun. Oh, by the way, I have this thing called businesses I'm running too, right? So get that done. And today, I'm gonna, like I said, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to go to the pool, go out and hang out at the club, get uh, lunch. I haven't eaten today yet. And uh, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. But get done, go have like a, sh you know, I don't even know what the hell that's called. Lunch, brunch, dinner. I don't even know. Liner. <laughs> But get done with that, and then 5.30, we'll be on the dock fishing with the kids because that's what they want to do. And that's what I want to do because I know those moments are very short. I don't necessarily, oh, man, I can't wait to not do anything except fish. I'm not out there to fish. I'm out there to connect with my kids, and I, I've realized these things. And then I get done with that, and then up in the morning, get the morning routine in, and then leave here at 11 a.m. to head three-hour drive down to Keys to meet my team. I have a team meeting. I'm flying in a bunch of people from a company I own, and uh, they're coming in. 90% of the people I've never met in person, and I've had this company for over maybe August will be seven years. So I'm excited to meet them and their family. Some people bring their family, some aren't. But I'm excited to meet them and connect with them. Kind of how that schedule plays out. We'll have dinner at night. as We'll be hanging out at the pool, the beach bar, and all that cool stuff, and then we'll have dinner at night. And then we'll meet the next morning for three or four hours, kind of talk about the pulse of the market, what's going on with our business, where we're at, where we're going, what it looks like in the future, sharing the vision. This isn't a go meet and talk about everything and, and just, you know, this is our life, right? And oh, by the way, I pick up the tab for everything the company does. It's exciting times to be alive. We get done with that. We leave, we come back home. I spend one night at the house and boom, back up. We have a industry event we host. We'll have 60 of the top people in the game. Again, I pick up the tab. I'm planting seeds. We pick up the tab to the industry experts. And what happens is there's 60 people. They're all spending millions of dollars. In essence, this is a high level mastermind. These are spenders. They invest in marketing through our company. So we're going to talk to them. We know what's working and what's not. They do too. We're, we're gaining insight. We're all there to learn. We're all there to connect. So my question to you is, do you think masterminds work? What I want to share with you is, like I said, when I was younger, I've realized something, how to infiltrate and how to get inside the insider's club. If a table didn't exist, build the fucking table and start it yourself. When I was a young kid, I think I was like 19 years old. This is newspaper day, so some of you might not even know about these things. But there's a thing called the Columbus Dispatch. I used to run ads in there because I wanted to connect with people. I ran an ad in there that said, local entrepreneur looking for high-level entrepreneurs to share wisdom. I'll pay for lunch. And then my phone number. Not my assistance, not an email address. Not a social media handle, my fucking phone number. Call me. And I, I would pay to run this ad in the Columbus Dispatch. And I'd get phone calls and I'd go meet people at a Bob Evans or at a First Watch. These are breakfast joints in Ohio. And I'd sit there and I'd connect with these guys in their 70s and 80s. And I just wanted to know what they're doing and how they're connecting and what they're up to. Let me step one step back. When I was 18 years old, I went to a real estate seminar could be called mastermind, but then it was a seminar. It was a, it was a pitch fest, right? It was go there for three days, pay pretty much nothing. I think 500 bucks for three days to learn, but the learning was to get you into the bigger group. Well, I didn't have much money. I only had $2,500, but I went there with the intentions to learn. More importantly, execute. See, I didn't have to execute. I, I didn't want to execute. I had to execute. I literally robbed from Paul to, to pay Peter to go to this event and I went there and I heard this guy make one fucking phone call. I swear in my life, he made one call to a seller. This is real estate back in the day. And I was like, I can do that. More importantly, I went and did it. I messed up a lot. I still mess up, but I did it and I kept going because I just don't fucking quit. 
I can't. It's not in me to quit, right? So that was 18, 19. I'm meeting all these older gentlemen and they're telling me, I'm like, you know, they're like, hey, I gotta, you want to meet at the club? No, I want to meet at Bob Evans. Keep in mind, truth is, I was intimidated. I was a fish out of the water. I can't meet at your club. I'm, I'm driving a fucking truck, for God's sakes. I can't go to the most expensive country club in Columbus, Ohio, and meet you. I didn't say that, but that's what I'm thinking. Instead, I just said, hey, let's meet down at the Bob Evans down the street from the club. I'll buy. I just wanted to soak up as much knowledge as possible. And everything they kept saying is, at, meet me at the club. Meet me at this, you know, at, at an environment that they pay to be, participate. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever belonged to any kind of club? Maybe a music club, a book club, a business club, a golf club, a tennis club, any kind of club? The truth is those are masterminds. A mastermind is an environment that is very, like it's a group of people that are on the same page or are on the progress to the, become on the same page. If you join a golf club, you want to join a golf club to probably become a better golfer, to gain better access to higher level people. If everything, if everyone's paying 50 grand a year to belong to this club, I belong to, I belong to several clubs. I belong to the Parkland Golf and Country Club where I live, right? I don't know what we spend, but it's thousands of dollars a month to eat, to hang out, to connect. There's a lot of great people I've met here hanging out at the fishing, fishing there, hanging out at the tennis courts with my kids, hanging out at the playground with the kids, hanging out, just hitting a couple golf balls with the kids, going to the driving range with my son with practice and meeting people. It's about connecting. So many people in masterminds are like, when you join a mastermind, most people think they're just going to get rich overnight doing nothing. Do you understand really what a mastermind is? You're paying for access and knowledge. And the truth is you got to align with the individual that's hosting or running the mastermind. I'm not going to go to a mastermind of somebody that I don't respect, I don't like. I think he's full of shit. I think he's a liar. I think he's a cheater. Why would I want to belong to a mastermind that someone's leading like that? I would not, by the way. Find the mastermind. People don't come to my mastermind to learn how to get physically fit. That's not what I'm known for, right? Clearly. But they will come to me to mastermind to sit there and learn how to gain a better life and get quality time by investing in yourself and buying time. It was an episode we did a couple, couple back. You should li definitely listen to it. How to buy time. How to build businesses. How to buy businesses. I don't know all the answers. No one does, by the way. But I do know this. In my $50,000 a year mastermind group, 100% are fucking killers. Hardworking, amazing people, get shit done. More importantly, they share. They're great givers. They share their knowledge. They share their money. They share their time. They're great givers. Go figure. Why do you think it's that way? Why do you think that? It's power of association. They're in a group of people that are talking about positive, progressive stuff. Not to say we don't share a problem, but if you come to a fucking problem, you better have a solution or what you think may be a solution. If you're having trouble building up your company, raising money, what would you do? Maybe you're having trouble connecting with people. Well, share with three things, three points of how you're connecting now. See, when you get into a room of people that want to uplift you and help you, and you get into a room, and more importantly, you have to do the fucking work. You have to be vulnerable. You have to share real shit. You do. So people can actually help you. Not the ego bullshit like, dude, everything's great over here, man. I'm crushing it. Three minutes later, you put the phone down, you start crying because you're scared to death because you can't pay your bills this month. You got to get vulnerable. You got to share real data, real shit. More importantly, you got to talk to people. You got to connect with people. The beautiful thing about the world we live in now is this amazing tool called social media. So picture this. You're in a mastermind group and there's 50 people or 100 people in it. And you're in a private Facebook group. You can literally click on members 
and see every fucking person in that group, literally. And you can see if you're friends with them or not. If you're not, send a friend request. Then send a private message. Hey, Steve, I see you're in the DealMaker family. My name's Mark. I just want to introduce myself. I'm in the group as well. Here's what I do. If you need help, let me know. Plant the fucking seed. Connect. And then when they do a post, like it. Rocket ship that shit. Do a bang. Do a muscle. Do something. Stop being a fucking voyeur. Success isn't about being silent. If you want to connect with people, you have to speak up. You have to say, what's up? You have to say, hey, here's what I got going on. Hey, here's where I need help. Here's what I'm doing to, that's working. See, I started last week because the $50,000 a year is not in reach for most people. A lot of people, right? I genuinely wake up every day wanting to help people. That's, that's what I get excited about. Helping, let me say this again, helping the right people. I'm not fucking helping you for free. I make money in my companies. $1,000 a month. I started a $1,000 a month mastermind group. $1,000 is not going to change my life in any way, shape, or form, but I fucking guarantee it could change your life straight up. I know what I'm putting into it. I know the people that are in there, and I already see it happening in the last seven days. Amazing shit's already taken place. You're listening to my voice. I talked to you guys about this over the last seven shows saying, if I did a 1K group, is this something you'd be interested in? If so, message me. 1K, I'm in on social. Lots of people message me. I'm still fighting it. Because to be honest with you, I'm scared to work with people that only think they're worth $1,000 a month. That's the truth. It scares me. But it is a bear of entry. And I think the bear of entry will qualify people at a certain level. I'm going to share something with you very, very serious. Something you've probably never even thought about. But when you're paying for a mastermind, the first thing that's happening, you're investing in yourself, period. That's the first thing. The second thing you think you're paying for who's in the room, that's a big myth. What you're genuinely really paying for is who's not in the fucking room. See, you don't want to be talking to no one, someone that's like doesn't value themselves at a thousand a month. Why would you waste a fucking breath with an individual that don't believe they're worth $1,000 a month. That's why you're paying $1,000 a month for you. And then you get in the group for who's not in the group. I'm qualifying people for you. Do you want to go to a football stadium and talk to 80,000 people that paid $100 a ticket? Or do you want to go over to a smaller stadium where there's only 100 or 200 people that pay a thousand a month to be in there. I guarantee you the results will be drastically different if you're talking to 80,000 whatever people or a smaller group of highly qualified people. And yet I see so many people exhausting their energies on dipshits, trying to convince them about their vision, about their goals, about their dreams. Dude. I'm going to build this app and it's going to do blah, blah, blah. Well, man, if that, what, you know, why would you be able to build it? Fuck, it's, it's so amazing. Why hasn't someone else already built it? It's probably already been built anyways. Eh. Kick them the fuck out of your life. You get in a group of guys and gals that are fucking killers that are investing in themselves and you're making connections. It's impossible to lose. And again, I know how shallow people are they're going to invest a thousand dollars. Dude, how much can I make if I invest a thousand dollars? No one fucking knows. But I can tell you this if you're investing in yourself and you're investing in relationships and you're investing in results, the thousand dollars is fucking Mickey Mouse for the opportunity that you have available to you. I'm not going to do the work for you. I'm not going to connect the people one on one for you. I can't do everything for you. If you get your ass in there, and start connecting in mastermind groups and relationships, your results will be astronomical. And that's day one. Then year two, year three, year five, year 25. See, everyone understands compounding money. 
Do you want a thousand a day or do you want a penny a day and double it every day for the next 30 days? Pull up that calculation and see what the number is in the day 30. See, in my life, I'm 26 years in the game and I'm not fucking going anywhere. And the truth is, I'm just getting started. But for the last 26 years, every fucking year, I've invested in myself multiple times. Many masterminds. I've flown all over God's country to fucking meet people, build relationships, connect with people, help people, ask for help from people, and, and everything else in between. I have forged deep relationships. I got fucking roots. So far deep, nothing can take it away. But yet, someone will come into a 1K mastermind. Oh, it, it's not working. It's day 28. I'm canceling. You don't deserve to fucking win then. Truthfully, that's how I feel. You don't deserve to win at all. It's a weak proposition. There's so many fucking weak people out there straight up. It's disgusting. I was talking with a guy a couple days ago. This is very important too as well. Everything I'm fucking saying is important by the way today. Everything I say is always important, but like this is ultra important. The reason I came out on the show today and told you my schedule is I got a lot of shit going on. Oh, by the way, when I get done with that industry event, I got to bounce up to go speak to 200 entrepreneurs in Tampa for a buddy of mine. It's a four-hour drive each way. I'm not complaining, by the way. I'm just sharing. It's a four-hour drive each way. I bought the books to give to everyone. Thousands of dollars. But more importantly, my time. Most importantly, I'm forging relationships. Because I understand the value in the relationship, every person in that room spends tens of thousands of dollars a year with this guy in his mastermind. And he's letting me come speak and share insights. I don't know everything, but I'm going to connect with people and I'm going to share the truth of what I do know. And it's probably a lot of stuff they don't want to hear. But I was talking with the guy and he's got two daughters and he's talking about joining the thousand. Man, I just I can't swing it right now, man. I'm just trying to just trying to get balance. My son was in the car with me. I came unglued. I absolutely went fucking ballistic. This guy's fucking broke mentally. And he's worried about fucking balance. Let me ask you a question. How could you be balanced sitting at home knowing you can't pay your fucking bills? Well, man, I get to spend time with my kids. How are you even present? You're literally the eviction people are knocking on your door. And you're, you're talking about balance? It's such a fucking weak piece so many people use. Now, listen, I'm all about lifestyle. I'm hanging out with my boy in Tampa. I got my son with me. Guess what we're talking about? Life and business. I'm not going there to fucking twiddle thumbs and hang out just to do nothing. Hey, man, what's going on with the world? Oh, yeah, the world sucks, man. Yeah. Hey, this weather's really hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Okay, yeah, man. No. I'm going there to connect with him about NFT projects he's working on and something I want to work on. I'm going there to meet his team that five of them flew in to connect and hang out so I can meet them and learn from them. We're hanging out. It's not just all business, but my life is business. My life is fucking connecting. My life is relationship capital 101. I'm investing my time and knowledgeing up why my wife and my daughter's here in Parkland hanging out, going to the spa, meeting some friends, the nanny's hanging out with my daughter at the pool, at the playground. I fucking miss them. But you got to look at the big picture. I don't do this often either, but I did this because it was an opportunity to grow. I don't understand broke people that's worried about balance. How the fuck are you worried about balance when you're broke? You can't even balance your checkbook for fuck's sakes. And you're trying to balance your life. Do you not see a problem with that? When you get inside of the right mastermind groups, you will never have those kind of conversations. My job is to protect my mastermind members from bullshit people like that. And I straight up told him, he's a fucking liar. 
He's a pussy. He's full of shit. I mean, I, it's true. It's, it's real talk. I didn't tell him. I screamed it. I was sad for him. I couldn't imagine, and I'm talking as a man, as a fucking man, sitting at home while my wife is working a job, while my kids are at school all day, and I'm worried about picking them up at 3 o'clock because I need balance, and I can barely pay my bills. The kids are six and eight. They're watching daddy like a fucking hawk. They're listening to him. They're watching him. And they're definitely paying attention. For the last two years, this fucker's done this. It's disgusting. But in his brain, he thinks he's doing the right thing. I asked him several questions. Yo, how many phone calls you made? Well, you know, it's not marketing's not working like I thought. Eh, wrong fucking answer. Answer the. By the way, when no one answers that question, it means none. What are you doing to solve the problem? Well, man, you know, very victim mindset. Everything's victim, 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 victim. And in his peon brain, he's saying, "I'm worried about balance. I want to be with my kids." Straight up. If you think that's balance, you're the most delusional fucking person under the sun. Now, I'm not saying not to hang out with your children, but when there's a time to work, there's a fucking time to work. How could you look at your children in the eyes and tell them that you're fucking giving them your all if you ain't out there putting the pedal to the metal? How could you look at your wife and make massive love with her thinking that you're a fucking man and you can't pay the bills because you're worried about balance. Truth is, I bet you the wife's not even fucking him because he's a pussy. It's the truth. And that's why I'm sharing it with you because I see great people. By the way, this is a good dude that's lost. He's bouncing around to different groups and different things. And, oh, yeah, Johnny, you're doing a good job, buddy. Keep balance up. By the way, another $500. Hey, man, great job. This guy can't pay his fucking bills and they keep taking money from him. I don't want your fucking money. I want to help people that want to help themselves. And the longer you stick in the fight, the more you're going to win because it starts compounding. Just like losing. The longer you keep losing, the bigger the losses get. You're losing time. You're losing opportunity. You're losing money. That's why the 1K Mastermind Group's only open for two weeks. It shuts down March 3rd at midnight. I'm not looking for everybody. I'm looking for somebody. Are you worth $1,000 a month? If you're not, get the fuck off this podcast show. I can't help you for real. How aren't you worth $1,000? How? The club dues at the club are $1,000. And if, if I show up or don't show up, they don't give a fuck. But I can walk in there anytime I want, sit at the restaurant, at the bar, and one connection could change your life. But I have to show up. I have to invest. If you can't tell, I'm kind of passionate about this balance piece. Balance? Fucker probably couldn't balance his checkbook because there's zero in it. It's not hard to balance zeros. I just think of the kids. I, I really, I really think of the kids. Daddy, let's go play. Okay. How? I don't mind once in a while, but how? Dude, my kids are out at the pool right now. I'm watching them. I'm watching them right now. They're waving to me. I'll be out there in 30 minutes. And I'll go out there and have a fucking blast. Why? Because I'm doing the fucking work. And they know it. I don't have to say anything. They know. I want to go sit out there in the fucking sun. I want to hang out at the pool. I want to smoke a cigar. I want to relax on the golf course. Who fucking doesn't? And I don't need to do this. I have to do this. This is what I signed up for. And I do this for free. 
but I'm committed. I'm dedicated. I made a deal with myself to serve. Daddy, I want to go to the park. I want to go to Disneyland. Sorry, honey. We have no money. Daddy, I want the new bike. Sorry, honey. Daddy's a fucking loser. I got, but I got balance, honey. This is real talk. And I know this is about masterminds, but this is the shit you avoid in a mastermind when you show up. When you invest in yourself, there's players in there. Every single person is investing in themselves. It's a separator. I want you to take stock, take note, follow the people that follow me on Facebook and IG. And I promise you, mark my fucking words, in the next three, six, 12 months, every single one of them that sticks in there and doesn't quit on themselves will be drastically, massively different place in their life. Massively. Because they've made a commitment to themselves. They're executing the work with the right people. Have you ever noticed people get taken advantage of, always get taken advantage of? Because they're hanging out in the wrong fucking groups. They make the bad, they always make bad decisions with bad people. I'm not saying I've never made a bad decision with the wrong person, but fuck. Get in a group where people are great. And typically great shit can happen if you do great work. If you connect, if you get out of your own bullshit. And what's crazy is this dude genuinely thinks he's being a good dad. And he might be a great dad, loving wise. But if you really love your fucking kids, you're going to do the work. You're going to show up. You're going to let them know what it really takes to succeed in life. My kids know I have, it's a give and trade, dude. I want to eat fucking pizza all day and hang out and drink soda and drink beer or whatever. But I got to go to the gym. I meet my boys every morning at 7 a.m. Except today. (laughs) Typically, I'll be there in in about two hours. Actually, that's a lie. About four hours when the kids are going down, taking a bath. It's a group effort. I got my wife. She's on board with it. My kids understand. We're all in this together. That's why I have the nanny so my wife can do her shit throughout the day because I've worked hard to be able to afford it. Hard and smart, by the way, because I've realized that we need time to connect, go on the lunch dates, go on the dinner dates. By the way, at the family, at the the event with the team, I'm not only just taking my wife and kids, we invited my in-laws there to come and hang out for a couple of days with us. They get to experience it, hang out on the beach while I'm in the fucking room working. I love it. If I can't step away for four hours and connect with team members that are like changing their lives in the company and what they're doing and get excited with them, then what the fuck are you doing all day? Like seriously, how much TV can you watch? How much dicking around can you do? Are you worth $1,000 a month to build your business, to build your life? I hope the answer is yes. I don't care if it's my mastermind or someone's. You have to get in a mastermind and start utilizing the mastermind. Don't be the person that bounces from mastermind to mastermind to mastermind. Oh, by the way, a guy that's in the $1,000 mastermind, Michael, messaged me. He's like, yo, can you speak Friday at 11.45? Actually, he said 11.45. He gave me two times. And I didn't really know the times because I'm like, I've already made a commitment to be at this race and hanging out with my boy. I didn't know his race schedule and all this stuff. And I said, I'll let you know. I want to do it. And we'll figure out a time. We figured out it was Friday, 1145. I went to the truck, me and my son. He's sitting in the back eating some chips and French fries and shit he shouldn't be eating probably. Why I'm on the call doing a live video for 30 amazing entrepreneurs in Reno, Nevada. I believe it's Reno, on the big screen. And I'm sitting there. I'll have to show you the picture, but it's like the cell phone's held up on the dash with Mark's lemonade can, like lemonade thing, you know, the big lemonade things you get from the fair. I shot the video. We did a live for an hour, and I got to connect with his mastermind group. 
the more masterminds that you stay in and get in, the more successful you'll be. The people in that room, I know some of the guys in there, they're t- in under 30 years old crushing it at all fronts, physically, financially, relationship, et cetera. This shit does not happen by accident. Once in a while, it's good to get away from your family. I wrote about this shit in the me economy. You got to be selfish once in a while to be unselfish. So I got to say that because you think you're being selfish by leaving your family for three days to knowledge up, to give them a better life. If that's how you think, you need to reprogram. Do you think I'm sitting around when someone pays $1,000 like, ha, 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 let's go party. I just got another $1,000, sucker. No. Dude, the truth is you can ask my boy, Matt. We have over 50 people in the mastermind paying 1000 a month. Basic math, that's $50,000 a month. And we're walking to the gym after it, ha- after it launched out, which I'm very proud of. By the way, I talked to every, every single person on boarding in there I talked to. So it's a lot like I'm looking at the work. I'm looking at the results. And he's like, dude, like, you excited? I'm like, excited about what? It's work. It's work time. See, when I take $1,000 for a mastermind in my group, I want you to get massive amounts of return on that shit. And I take that shit very serious. It might not happen week one or month one or month 20, but it will happen if you stay in that group. I know where the intentions are. 50 grand a month ain't changing my life in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, it's cool to have, but that's not what I'm chasing. I want millions a month. Now, all of a sudden, now that gets way interesting. That's a different story. But I'm not working hard to go for 50 grand a month. I'm going for relationships. I'm going for results for you. I'm thinking, how can I massively over-deliver? The truth is what I was going to give, I've already added about 10X of what I was going to give that people already paid for. I'm over-delivering. I will always do that. To me, it's a massive responsibility. I'm not just some marketer that's trying to make $1,000 off of an individual just to say I did it. I've never been that way. This is my life. This is my legacy. This is what I do every day. I get to do it. I love, I was at this meeting and Last night, and multiple people came up taking pictures with me. Dude, I love your shit. You changed my life. Man, your mindset's amazing. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. That's not why I'm doing it, but it does feel good once in a while. But I love hearing the stories of helping them. I want to know their name. What is help? What's the big takeaway? Is there anything else I could add more value to? Those are the real questions I'm thinking about. And ask. Not just ask. To ask, but ask because I genuinely want to know how to deliver more to help them. Either through my podcast or through my books or through my mastermind or when I meet in person or when I'm doing an event, all of the above. I want to be better for me and you. And what I love about people that invest in themselves, they want to be better for themselves as well. And typically from my experience, the people that are rolling with me They want to be better for themselves, to be better for their family, to be better for the people they want to help. They're great givers. It's okay to sacrifice a very few couple days to have a way better future. My question to you is this. If you don't do it now, when do you do it? What are you waiting for? What's stopping you? What are you afraid of? There's something holding you back. If you're not in the 1K group, I will not, I don't even know how to, I wouldn't want to do it for less. I didn't even want to do it for a thousand a month. I have a waiting list for people paying 50 a year. What's that? Over 4,000 a month. But I want to impact more people's lives. Like I shared with you in 2005, I wrote it down. I'm looking at the sign. I want to make 
and helped create a thousand millionaires in my life. That number truth is it's a hundred thousand now. The truth is it should be a million plus and it will evolve. And it's not just me helping you become a millionaire or multimillionaire, maybe fucking hundred millionaire and beyond, which I hope. But for the people you'll directly impact by you gaining confidence through the knowledge and action that you've taken off the information and sharing it with other people through your channels, through your social, through your books, while you're finding your, your voice by shooting live videos, by shooting you know events, doing events, writing books, writing articles, maybe I have a piece of that opportunity to help you become better at it, streamline it faster, gain more confidence quicker. Because the faster I can help you, the faster we can get out to the world. The faster we can help more people. Yeah, we'll all make more money. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we want to? I do the podcast for free. Zero dollars. I share all this shit. I write books. I give all the profits to charity. All of them. 12 bestsellers. I'm going to have two more out this year. They all go to charity. I do an event in Columbus on my birthday bash and I raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for charity at my own fucking birthday party. I'm not sitting around figuring out how can I make money off these fuckers? I'm thinking at how can I deliver massive fucking value for an insane value price? If I gave everything for free, every fucking person listening to my voice should be millionaires now. Because I shared the shit with you. Why aren't you fucking crushing it? You need to belong to an environment, a group of people that support your vision, that understand your real struggles, that don't talk shit to you, but to inspire you, to connect with you, to relate, to help. I could go inside the DM family group right now and create massive value by simply sharing connection stories. Steve, you should know Matt. Matt, you should know Steve. Why? Because I know Steve's story and I know what Mike or Matt could do. Man, I want to learn crypto. Dude, you know this person. I've vetted these fuckers. You don't understand how important you are if you're not worth $1,000 a month. Why would someone go spend 150 grand a year, 150 grand for a college education to make 50 grand a year for something they hate doing? But yet, when you go, yo, it's a G a month to pay for yourself the knowledge up to gain information to grow your life and business and everything else you want to grow. Oh, it's a scam. Evans, if it was so good, why are you charging for it? Evans, if you have so much money, why don't you do it for free? Well, hey, fucker, I am doing it for free. I'm doing a podcast. I have over 100 hours of free content. Actually, it's a couple hundred hours because I did a podcast prior to this called, you know, Real Estate Power Hour. Hundreds of hours of free content online. But the thing is with a mastermind, it's about expediting conversation to result. That's what a real mastermind's about. If I could solve your problem in a nanosecond with one fucking text, one email, one connection, what is that worth to you? If you're struggling with the big decision, who do you talk to that's going to give you real shit conversation talk? Not like, oh, be careful, Jim. Um, be real careful. Uh, you know, last time you did this, you lost money. Just be careful. I wouldn't do it. Let's go on a vacation instead. Too many of you are killing your dreams because you're a slave to the fucking dollar bill. It's the truth. Mark, money's not that important to me. Liar. If you're on the show, it's 100% important. Why wouldn't it be important? It creates the life that you're trying to seek. Maybe you want to give more money away to charities. Maybe you want to build a better life for your, your family. Maybe you want to help your mom and dad or grandparents or elderly people that you know that if you had a little bit extra money, you could make their life a lot better. People that actually helped you 
get to where you're at. See, it's interesting. When I'm in my mastermind groups, you guys would think that we're sitting around trying to figure out how to get billions of dollars and do nothing. That's the exact opposite. We're asking, what can we provide to the marketplace that could help people become wealthier? We'll get money. And then in that same breath, in that same conversation, we start to ask, once we gather this capital, how can we deploy it out to help more people? How can, what charities are existing? What foundations can we start? Who do we know that could help us get our voice heard more? I was Last night, we're sitting at the event. They're talking about creating information. This guy made $8 million, didn't take one penny from it. And he's, don't, he's creating software and systems and stuff to go out and give more money to charities. He'll give hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars away in his lifetime. And everyone, if you're hanging out in the royal crowd, they're like, he's a greedy bastard. Because they don't know the fucking story. They're too fucking lazy because they're worried about balance to sit down and spend one minute on the internet and really understand what the story is and what they're really trying to do. Mastermind is an amazing tool. I've been in a mastermind since I was 18, since 1996, and I'll be one in for the rest of my life. I'll either be hosting them, running them, or be a part of them, or both forever. It's a connection. Remember, you're paying for who's in the room, who's not in the room, as opposed to who's in the room. Think about this. It reminds me of the mask shit. The mask stuff is some of the best things in the world. I've not worn a mask yet. Well, I did one time to check in. And I didn't even really wear it. I just put it around my ears. But other than that, I've not worn a mask at all. And it reminds me of this. If you see someone now walking around the mask, I instantly have zero fucking in common with them, straight up. Zero. They're going to the gym still with a fucking mask. Why? You're at the gym. You're okay, dude. I have nothing in common. It's a separator. It's a, like, dude, like, I get it. I don't live life scared. How, first of all, you're not living if you're scared. You're playing scared. That's not living. I'm in the game to win life, to grow, to expand, to, to, to help, to drive. To, to, like there's so much to do. But as I round out here for the day, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna expand more on this balance stuff in future shows, but I can tell you this. If you get in the right mastermind group, I'd love for it to be the DM family. You can see the information. I have a replay link up. I share about, a, I have an hour video I did on this. And it's only up till March 3rd. And it, you know, and then it's gone at midnight. And that's, that's not BS marketing shit. It's the truth. Because I'm going to take my arms around every single one of these fuckers. And I'm going to help them grow. And I'm excited. And you guys are, again, you're either in the game or not. You're going to watch. You're going to see it with your own eyes. You can get in now or just wait until I decide to open it up again. And then you're assuming that it's going to open up at the same price. You're assuming I'm even going to open it up. Maybe I decide not to. I don't know yet. I genuinely don't know yet. I want to focus on people that invest in themselves. Take massive action. $1,000 might be scary now. You'll be laughing about it 12 months from now if you stick in the game. And with my mastermind, the DM family, we do two live events. First one's in, in end of June. We have weekly calls. I have a private group, a private environment we're setting up that's going to be a huge set of libraries. I don't care what business you're in or what you're struggling with in business or financial growth. We'll be talking about it. We're going to be talking about how to hire good people, how to ex exit your company, how to buy companies, how to grow your real estate company, how to grow your real estate team, how like everything, my fiduciaries, how to protect your upside, how to protect your downside, like growth, investments I'm working on. You guys are going to pre, you're going to, you're going to see stuff before I even share it to the world. Might be able to get involved even on some of this stuff. But most will sit here and listen and think it's not for them. Most will sit here and come up with every excuse why they can't do it now. I need balance. I need to focus. Well, when does the balance and focus come into play? Maybe you need to stop bullshitting yourself and join a real group that's really out to set to help you. I have nothing else to sell you. I want to help you with where you're at and where you want to go. We all are on different paths. There's no one size fits all. 
Again, that website, markevansdm.com forward slash replay. It'll be in the show notes as well. But if it's something you're serious about, this comes out on Wednesday, this has gone on Thursday. So it's something I would do ASAP. And if you're brand new to this show, welcome. I came in hot today for you. <laughs> and if this show was a gut punch and you feel like it could help other people around you, get them on the same page as you, this is probably a show they should listen to. Let me be the bearer of, of real news. It's not bad news. It's real news. Let them know that they're holding you back from growing. Let them know that they're constraining the future potential of your life. Let them know that you're affecting your children by you being a fucking pussy staying at home saying you need balance. If not now, when? Genuinely, if not now, then when? It's a $1,000 enrollment fee and $1,000 a month. Your first month, the investment's only two grand and a thousand a month after that. MarkEvansDM.com forward slash replay. Get going now. I might open this thing never <laughs> or three months from now or three weeks. I don't know yet. And I don't even know what price we'll reopen it at. If it even changes, I don't know. But I do know what we have now. It's only a thousand dollar enrollment and a thousand a month. And it, it's done March 3rd at midnight. Get on board. Make your investment. You're worth it. It will be scary. It's meant to be. But you're rolling with the right person, the right people. If you're listening to the show and you vibe with it, that's the shit that we're doing in there too on a, one, like on a higher personal level, talking with you and to you. You're asking q and I'm doing live videos in there to help. I shared one thing on the first day in there People's already generated enough money to pay for this fucking thing for 10 years with one thing on the first day. Just imagine that. That's if we're just talking the dollar for dollar ROI. The human capital ROI in this group is unlimited. Unlimited. It's limited to your imagination. It's limited to you getting in there and doing the efforts and connecting with these people. It's up to you. I can lead you to the water. I cannot make you drink it. But if you're dying of thirst to grow, to be a better person, to be a better business owner, to have a better life, this is the shit you need to be in. And you need to expand your wings. Don't go to a mastermind just to be cool. Go to a mastermind to win, to connect. Pull the ego to the side and let people really know what you're dealing with so they can actually help you. The world wants to help you if you know it or not. Guys in my group and gals in the group, they genuinely are helpers. They want to see you. Succeed. If you make more money, it doesn't take any money from our pockets. It's like going out and getting sunshine. I'm standing out here in Parkland. I'm fucking looking at the sun, the sunshine in my office. You can go out and get sunshine just as much as I can. Me getting sunshine doesn't take away from your sunshine. It's now or never. Really, now or never. MarkEvansDM.com forward slash replay. Step it up. There's a reason you're listening to this today. And you're still listening. You're shaking. You're scared. You're excited. You're not sure what it is. But know that making an investment in yourself, that one trigger alone will set you onto another trajectory. I promise you that. I hope you have an amazing day. I hope this message hit you hard in a good way and in a bad way as well, I guess. If, that, if you took it in a bad way, well, that means you got work to do. So I appreciate you being here. Hope you make the day count.
principals and teachers are alive just to witness this. I'm my own boss, I'm out here running to a figure businesses. I can walk away from it all, and I'll be good, but I've been called to help people just like y'all learn the game. It's time to ball. Everybody chasing the money, but I'm not chasing the money. I'm out here chasing the purpose, yo, I've been working my whole life. What got us where we at isn't gonna get us where we wanna go. So. It's time to push, time to learn, time to grow. Uh -oh. I'm more Gavin's DM, I'm heard at helping teach him what I, what I know and how I did it to discover freedom. There ain't no question, more Gavin's when he step in the doubt. He's closing deals, it's time to tell him what the DM stand for. I'm a deal maker, a deal maker, but I'm not just a deal maker, I'm a dream maker. The journey's where it's at, it's all about the process. It's time to get over to the DM project. I'm more Gavin's DM, I'm deal maker. This is the podcastfactory.com.